and vow, do you confess again your faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? I do. In dependence on God's grace, do you reaffirm your trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, and your promise to follow him and to seek to do and to bear his will all the days of your life? I do. I do. Do you believe that the word of God in the Old and New Testaments, discerned under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, is the supreme authority for the faith and conduct of all God's people? I do. I do. do you believe that the church is the people gathered by God's love to proclaim the reconciliation of the world to God through Jesus Christ? Our zeal for the glory of God, love for the Lord Jesus Christ, obedience to the Holy Spirit, and a desire for the salvation of the world, so far as you know your own heart, the chief motives which lead you to enter this role. They are. Do you promise to undertake this role faithfully? to guide and enable General Assembly and Mission Council in discussion and decision-making, to share stories and ideas with people across the churches here and abroad, to represent the United Reformed Church on occasions of celebration and sadness, and to give leadership to the church in its mission to the world. By the, By the grace, grace of God, God I do. Do you promise, as moderator of General Assembly, to seek the well-being, purity, and peace of the United Reformed Church, to cherish love towards all other churches, and to endeavor always to build up the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church? By the grace of God, I do. Will you undertake this role in accordance with the statement concerning the nature, faith, and order of the United Reformed Church. I will, I will and all these things I profess and promise in the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And now, as members of General Assembly and those gathered to share this event with us, let us confirm our commitment to each other and to the gospel. Let us pursue what makes for peace and build each other up in love. We will grow together in humility, gentleness, and patience. We will nurture each other in faith. We will bear with one another in love. We will make every effort to maintain the unity of the Holy Spirit in the bond of peace, so that we may faithfully proclaim the gospel of Christ. Would you please be seated? Let us pray. God of all perfect gifts, we praise you that in every age you call people to serve your holy purposes made known in Christ. We thank you that you called your servants, Kirsty and Val, to serve you in the office of moderator of General Assembly. We pray for them now as we induct them to office. Gracious God, be with Val and Kirsty as they take up this role and enable them with gifts of the Holy Spirit for leadership, for preaching, for presiding, and in the pastoral care of your people. Protect them in all the pressures and possibilities of this office. Grant them resilience, encouragement, and spiritual refreshment as they fulfill the engagements of moderator of General Assembly. And bless them with time and space to grow and rejoice. Give grace to the whole United Reformed Church that we may accept and welcome the service you offer us through Val and Kirsty. 
may they and we work together for the glory of your name. And may the good work you have begun today be brought to completion in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, created God, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. And now for the declaration of induction, I do invite you once again to stand. The exercise does us all good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and on behalf of the General Assembly of the United Reformed Church, I declare, declare Gwen Valerie Morrison and Kirsty Elizabeth Thorpe to be inducted as moderators of General Assembly. Now to God, who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to God be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever. Amen. Members of Assembly, as Kirsty and Val receive the right hand of fellowship, the gift of personal Bibles, and sign our Assembly Bible, let us greet and welcome them with our applause. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with you. First, receive this Bible. The Word also is made flesh. Receive this Bible. The Word also is made flesh. Please sign the Assembly Bible. And put those down behind you. I think. And put those down behind you. I think. Moderator anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> 